two hook. Back two hook, big hook. One, two, big hook. I got into boxing at around seven years of age. Uh, my dad brought me and my brothers to the gym and um, just to see if we liked it. And uh, from then we, we've been in the gym ever since. As kids you don't really know much about boxing. To be fair, I didn't even know what it was. And then um, got, in a, got in a ring and uh, started uh, punching a few kids about and loved it. Yeah, I love training with my brothers every day. Uh, we egg each other on. Um, if one's slacking, we all get behind them and um, push them, make them go that extra mile. Uh, and we've got a good, close relationship, all of us, like, and um, and it just it just makes us train that that bit harder. My granddad boxed, represented Ireland um, as an amateur, so we we wanted to follow in his footsteps, basically. So me and my brothers uh, decided we'd go fight in the championships over in Ireland, and uh, to to you have to win an All Ireland to represent Ireland or get a chance to fight for Ireland. So um, we we decided to make the move over there, which was a big move, but. Glad we made it and we learned a lot of stuff over in Ireland, so it was brilliant, yeah. I had most of, my, um, most of my amateur fights out in Dublin. Then I moved from there to Belfast. Um, had, had, a good, had a good few fights out from, based in Belfast and um, met, met a lot of nice people on my travels in Dublin, in Belfast. I won, won a lot of Irish titles, uh, went to the Europeans and stuff like that, multi-nations and got to represent Ireland a number of times, which was my, one of my goals. My amateur experience was like, I got to, I'm pretty good to be fair. Uh, I'd, I'd like to have done more, but got caught up in a few things, a few, few, uh, few silly things, a few, um, wrong friends if you'd like, like to say at the time um, but I've managed to get to the European Championships uh, multi-nations twice four nations world championships I went to, I've been to America I'd say ten ten times fighting international and stuff um, but yeah I, I didn't really because I was a kid in England um, I didn't really managed to do as good as I did when I when I got to Ireland. When when I got to Ireland that's when I took off really and started finding myself doing um, done really well in Ireland. I've won uh, I think three three island titles. Should have been about six but that's uh, that's boxing fear isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I was training a young lad from Belfast not too long ago called uh, Ryan Burnett. Um, nice kid, you know, very, very talented. Uh, and he'd boxed with uh, the Upton brothers all his, all his life in Belfast, uh, Paulie, Anthony and, and Sonny. Uh, and Sonny come down here looking at a, a few gyms, I, I believe, and he come down doing a bit of training with Ryan. Um, and he, uh, he really, really uh, in, enjoyed it. Yeah, so I'm sure it was difficult, you know, um, Sunny training in Manchester and Paulie and Anthony being up in London, I'm sure they, you know, well that's certainly the case with them training together here now, they spur it, they drive each other on. So Anthony come down, did a little bit of, you know, training with uh, with Sonny, um, 
and he must have liked what he saw and he decided to, to, to come down and then Paulie obviously uh, uh, followed, you know, and I'm uh, very happy with all the, the progress and uh, they're, all, they're all improving, they're training together, um, you know, and I'm very, very fond of, of all three of them and the, the whole family in general. What I like about them is, because they're brothers, they, they egg each other on all the time, so it's good. So we've only got a small group, but it is close in this gym. It's still unbelievable to be, to be uh, trained by world, world champion and world-renowned boxer Ricky. So, um, yeah, when I come into gym every day, it gives me a big boost. I love, love training with him and he's got so much knowledge in the game. You're talking about Ricky Yatton that's been in with two of the best pound for pound in the world. And um, st still to this day in life, where it's Ricky Yatton, like, it's, I mean, you get used to it because he's like more of a more of a friend now than than a trainer, if you'd like to say. So we know each other better and stuff like that. But at, at the start, when I when I first come over, I was uh, I was shocked. <laughs> your gym partners become like your you know like your second family in many ways. There's one thing I regret from. Uh, one thing I missed from boxing was like going to to training every day <clears throat> with your mates, and you know my training camp was like Michael Gomez, Gomez, Anthony Farnell, uh, Michael Brody, Steve Foster, Ensley Bingham, and then later on Paul Smith, Matthew Macklin, Steve Bell, you know my brother Matthew, and it was uh, as hard as the game is of boxing. It was it was great. You couldn't wait to get to to work. You know as hard as you were working, you were all working towards the the same goal, which is trying to become a champion and. Uh, that's what they, we're getting here now with the options. You know, I train Zanet Zakianov, I train Sergei Rabchenko, I train Kirill Relic, uh, I train the um, uh, the three Upton, uh, three Upton boys. But they, you know, so uh, you know they, they spur each other on, they drag each other on, all of them, and it's fantastic. You know, to see it's like the world of nations. You know, Zanet from Kazakhstan, Sergei from Belarus, Z um, Kirill from Belarus. And then <clears throat> they upped them three, you know, from Belfast, Stoke, Essex. And it's great when the gym's full and they're all having the banter together and they're all geared, they all want to be champions, you know, and it's all, you know, they're all geared towards the same goal, which is trying to become champions. They're all willing each other on and none more, more than the three brothers, obviously, with them being, with them being brothers. Our supporters, they are, they're unreal. They're, they're loud. They get behind you, they get behind every single one of us. Um, and, and I'm thankful for every single person that spends their hard earned money to come out and support me and my brothers. It's massive. Um, and it only drives us on even more in training. I mean, the support we get is, is brilliant. You've got people going out, working nine to five, earning their uh, hard, hard money. Uh, money and and then come to support you. I mean, can't get better than that. I'd just like to say thank you for each and every one of you. I mean, um, obviously I don't <laughs> don't uh, tweet you all and and text you every day, but it's really appreciated. It makes it that much easier. Um, and uh, and again with the support, you've got the likes of uh, my dad that sorts out the tickets. And without him, none of this, none of this would be possible. They're like a, they're like a family to me. These brothers, these, I love training them. You know, the nice kids, the dedicated. They want to get to the top, and I can't train someone I'm not fond of. You know, it's uh, it's not about a paycheck for me. You know, it's about you know I've got to you know when Billy Graham gave me advice and he looked in my eyes and he gave me advice. I knew Billy, it was the right advice. I knew Billy was throwing every punch with me. And I think that's the bond I've got with the Upton brothers now. Well, it's early days and we'd be stupid to start making silly predictions, but as long as they keep listening, uh, you, you build bit by bit.
no, Rome won't be a day, as you say. My ambitions, um, obviously, to get to the top, everyone wants to be a world champion. I want to be world champion. Um, but first, you've got to take small steps and uh, the small titles, whatever titles Ricky, Ricky gets me, I'll take. Um, I'd love to fight for an Irish title as I represented Ireland as an amateur. Um, and then go on from there. Uh, British title, European, Commonwealth. I've, I've trained with people that have had them belts. Carl Frampton, he's uh, had the Commonwealth European. I've like seen the belts and I'd love to, to be a holder. Uh, Nicky Cook, Kevin Mitchell, we've trained with the likes of them. So it's, um, it'd be, be, be brilliant to have any, any of the belts. It gives you a boost like when Ricky says like you're going to be world champion you and like it's, I mean I, w I won't be in it if I, w if I didn't think that you know what I mean so my ambitions this year would be to mm, obviously I want a couple of titles but uh, Ricky knows when the time is right I'd like to get maybe Southern Air title, Celtic, Celtic title. Um, I like the way, um, as Paul mentioned earlier, Carl Frampton, he's built. Uh, Carl Frampton won that Celtic title as well, and uh, I'd like to, I'd like to win that. To be honest, I really, there's a few of my pals in in Belfast that have, uh, and I've I've boxed before that have got it. So, so green and gold, <laughs> two of my favourite colours. So, I'd like to get that one, but. Um, Commonwealth, European, mm, world titles. How far do I want to go? All the way, all the way. I wouldn't be in it. Wouldn't be in it just for, just for central area or southern area titles. I'm, I'm in it for the long run and um, for the world titles. To be, just to become num to know you're number one in your weight in the world would mean a lot to me, so that's that's what I'm in it for. We could definitely be uh, be champions, you know what I mean? I, I tell them all, listen, you're all going to be world world champions. I believe they've got the potential to, you know, to do that. But I mean, you've got to reach for the for the stars, the, the star, you know, the, the stars. You know, I uh, I I didn't want to, um, you know, I, I didn't want to be just the best in the division. I wanted to be the best in boxing, you know, and it didn't come off, but you know, I gave it a good go. I didn't fast, so I didn't fall that far short. If you, if if you like, you know, I become best in the division and two weights and four world titles. And I think if you head, if you reach for the stars, even if you you don't quite get there, you know, you're gonna, you, you know, if you if you think to yourself, oh, I'd love, you know, which is no disgrace in winning a British title. There's no disgrace in winning a Central Area title. You know what I mean? My first title was a Central Area title, but I think you know you've got to you've got to reach as high as you can reach. You know, if you fall, some if you fall. Somewhere a little bit short, whether it be European, British, Commonwealth, Central Area, whatever. You you know you've you've still still done done well, but you you know you know it's, you know people don't start you know you do the hundred meters you know to 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 do it in 15 seconds. You want to try and beat the world record, don't you? And that's that's the attitude you've got to have in every sport, yeah. Down the street